These images are from late afternoon of Sunday, October 2, 2022. The images were taken near the intersection of I-75 and Sumter Boulevard. The I-75 ramps to and fro still have a lot of flood water that block access to Sumter Boulevard. The access to and from Sumter Boulevard often on I-75 were closed. The I-75 northbound exit ramp continues to be inaccessible due to flood waters. We see some vehicles are trapped in the flood water as well as emergency vehicles, along with boats and other vehicles with boat trailers, accessing the flood waters from the northbound lane on Sumter Boulevard. As we head north on Sumter Boulevard towards Tropic Air Boulevard, the flood waters are visible in the area north of I-75 and west of Sumter Boulevard and just west of the Big Slough flood waters drain areas. The water is everywhere and the trees tower above the water. Dry ground is not visible in this area. There are many fallen broken branches and trees. As water saturates the soil, the soil becomes muddy and the root systems of trees no longer have any firm soil to attach. Many trees that have shallow root systems, such as palm, papaya, guava and pine, and even tree varieties with deeper root systems, lose their ability to anchor themselves in the muddy soil. It's a beautiful day today, sunny, with a slight breeze, and pleasantly warm. It's hard to believe that a few days ago this area experienced over 100 mile an hour sustained winds with peaks of 130 miles per hour. But, we can see the damage. Power has not been restored in this area, and many broken branches and trees were observed in various places, laying directly on power lines. Many homeowners have gas power generators to power the basic appliances such as refrigerators and to charge their cell phones. An obvious advice from a caller that I heard on the radio today that I thought would be useful to pass along is that that homeowners do not need to run their generators continuously. Refrigerators are able to keep cold for quite a bit of time. Shutting off the generators conserves fuel and neighbors and your ears will be grateful. The streets are fully covered with water and it appears that the water for many residents probably has entered their homes. The water here appears to be as high as 4 to 5 feet above the street level in places. A stop sign is visible and at the stop sign pole appears to be in the water about 5 feet. Clearly with the combination of power lines, water, little dry land and fallen branches and trees makes this a dangerous situation. Sarasota County welcomes your participation in making Sarasota County the premier community to live, work and play. Volunteering connects you to others, increases self-confidence, improves your outlook, helps you to stay physically healthy, and brings fun and fulfillment to your life. Just ask a volunteer. For general volunteer questions you can send an email to volunteer at scgov.net or you may call 941-861-5000 for additional volunteer opportunities you may contact the All Faiths Food Bank. You can help sort and pack food for distribution in our community. Volunteers need to be conscientiously adhering to physical distancing, masking, and other COVID-19 protocols. Sign up as a new volunteer or log in as an existing volunteer at https colon slash slash www.allfaithsfoodbank.org Once you are registered or logged in, you can select from various dates and times. The physical address is 8171 Blakey Court, Sarasota, Florida, 34240. Thank you for watching. I will now turn over the sound column to Chris Haugen, who will be playing Natural Light, a beautiful calming tune that I like very much. Enjoy. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. It encourages me and will motivate me to create more videos of interest.